Hey there, it's the first live stream of 2018. I haven't had a real chance to say this to you yet, but happy new year. I hope that your 2018 is proving already to be a prosperous one and you and uh, yours closest to you are thriving right now. I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. I'm going to get straight back into the live show. I've missed doing it over the last two weeks. Um, So it's where I invite you to send in your questions about audio. So anything, audio production, voiceover, podcasting, uh, working in radio, uh, DJing, anything to do with Adobe Audition, I'm happy to cover it here on the live stream for you. It's every day, Monday to Friday from 6 p.m. UK time. So whatever this time is for you now, it's the same time every day, Monday to Friday. Do hope you can join me every day. Uh, Now, over the uh, the holiday season, I've got a backlog of stuff to answer, so I'm going to do my best to do it as much as I can. Today is one really for podcasters or people who interview uh, via Skype. It comes from Joanna, who's in Nashville, and uh, she says, how do I get rid of the static noise that's often produced uh, when I have an interview guest from Skype, particularly if they're not using a good quality microphone, uh, they're using something like their internal microphone or something like that? Uh, hiss. Yeah, big problem. Look look at those behind me, by the way. And you say, yeah. Remember how much hiss they used to have? If indeed you do remember them at all, I do. My goodness me, the hiss on those things, on those cassette tapes, were absolutely crazy. So, right, let's get into it. Joanna, this is definitely what I can answer for you, but I'm going to need a beautiful assistant in order to do this. So let's go over to Adobe Audition and uh, we'll get started. Now, this uh, this session, this Q&A session, is brought to you by the Pro Podcast Presets, available to buy now at mrc.fm slash ppp. Let me open it up. It's a multi-track session designed specifically for podcasters uh, that you can get now and make your podcasting workflow easy place to put your host, your co-host, any guests, including a special channel for the Skype guests. We might take a look at that in detail in just a moment. Intro and outro music, talk over music that is auto-ducked uh, to the host's uh, voice, which is great, a sound effects channel, and some buses to uh, add on some extra effects uh, as needed for the voice and music, and then master settings, adding some mastering so you don't have to worry about anything when you finish your podcast in the multi-track. You mix it down, save it, up-lead, <laughs> up-lead or upload to your media host. Simple as that. Uh, So I'm going to use this today to record, and I obviously select the input to my Skype guest channel, and that's going to be Mono Analog 9. Good, that's set up correctly, which is what we want. And then over here on Podcast Host, I want it to be Mono Analog 3 on my audio interface, which is a big mixing desk. That is my microphone. Now I can start recording Oh, by, uh, first of all, arming these tracks to record. That's me right there, and the Skype guest will eventually appear on this channel here. Hello there, it's Mike, and we are going to test on this short podcast episode, Skype, and eliminate the static and hiss from the call. Let's go to Skype now. There's Isabella. Let's give her a call. Oh, I love this tune. Wait for it. Oh, beautiful tune. And boogie along. Yeah. There we go. The Skype ringtone. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hello. Hello. And uh, may I be the first to say it to you as this is the first live stream of 2018. I I know we're like eight days in now, but Happy New Year, Isabella. (laughs) Happy New Year, Mike, to you too. Uh, I can't believe it's 2018 already. Uh, Well, I prefer to say 2018, but I guess 2018 will be okay. (laughs) Doesn't matter. Just wait till we get to 2020. It'll just be 2020. It can't be 2020, can it? Or oh, you can just say 20 or 18. The 20s. It's the 18 already. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, Isabella, made any uh, resolutions and broken them already, or how are you doing? Nope. I'm being really, really good with my resolutions. So, uh, yeah, doing good. How about you, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've made some uh, good changes in particular uh, to my health, uh, yeah. exercising more. I already uh, have do exercise a bit, but I'm exercising more. So, yeah, it's a good start. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good 18 already. <laughs> Indeed, good 18. Uh, Isabella, thank you. That's all I needed you for, just uh, to have a little Aww. chat and get a little bit of hiss you on your line. Anymore. No, I just need to eliminate the hiss now. That's all I need to do. All right. Well, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. That's Isabella Ooh. from Music Radio Creative. How would I rate the quality of this call? What, the, the, the caller <laughs> or how Skype handled it? I don't know. Anyway, there's Isabella. Uh, she's off the line. Thanks for listening to the show. Okay, so there's my my podcast. Uh, let's disable the recording on both chat tracks. Uh, let's have a listen. The best thing about this is you can record in uh, different inputs to different channels on the Pro Podcast presets, uh, which is brilliant. So I've now got a separated um, audio of the host and of the Skype guest, and notice how it labels them 
individually, which is fantastic. And when you go ahead and save this session, say if I save it now into uh, downloads, let's call this podcast show, and we'll call this again podcast show. It will actually save the media files into that directory. Yes, I want to create the directory. Um, sometimes if you just start for the first time, uh, you may find that uh, it asks you that question. Do you want to save the media files? Usually you do. Right, let's um, listen to this channel. You'll hear Isabella. Hello. There she is. And then no talking in between. And then on this channel, you won't hear Isabella, but you will hear me. Here. Uh, well, I prefer to say 2018, but I guess two So it's brilliant. So if uh, anyone coughs like the host coughing uh, while the guest is speaking or uh, the guest making a strange noise while the host is speaking, you can cut that all out later on in the multitrack. Now, I am going to waveform view because I want to show you in the waveform view a few tricks you can do. Uh, I'm normalizing them both now by double clicking and hitting N. I've got a normalize favorite set to the N hotkey there. Um, and of course, with the Pro Podcast presets, adaptive noise reduction takes care of getting rid of the hiss from the Skype channel. But I just want to show you a few other ideas that may or may not tickle your fancy. Uh, so let's just highlight uh, some of the silence here on the Skype recording uh, and normalize it. Whoa. Listen to that hiss. Wow. And then I'm just going to go just to prove that it is a Skype issue and not necessarily an all microphones issue. Uh, let's find a really quiet part of where I was talking. We'll go into a spectral frequency display for this and have a look. Probably one of the quietest points in my uh, dialogue was about here. Now, there will obviously be some noise. Let's normalize it. Or you can just say 20. Yeah, so the 20. There's the noise from my mic. Or you can just say 20. Obviously normalized to max amplitude. Uh, not quite as bad as this. Oh, let's <laughs> start it from the beginning. That's awful Skypey hiss, and what we're going to do in order to get rid of that, I'm just, first of all, to uh, uh, accentuate, is that is that a word? <laughs> accentuate the uh, uh, the noise on the channel. I'm going to run it through a single band compressor, so that should suck up some of the Skype noise so you can really hear what's happening. Uh, move that threshold down a bit, um, and let's turn this up. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. Take the ratio right up so we start to get that. Yeah, you can really hear that, can't you now? Hello. Awful, awful hiss there going on. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do to get rid of that noise, first of all, is create a noise profile by selecting uh, part of the audio. Effects, noise reduction, restoration, capture the print, shift P to do that. Uh, yep, that's okay. And then select all the audio once you've captured the print of only the noise. You don't want any speaking in there, otherwise it's going to do something funky. Noise reduction process. Uh, let's go to the default one and see how it works on default settings. Uh, oh, for some reason it's lost my noise print. So again, you can do this inside the noise reduction process. Just select somewhere with just noise, capture noise print. There we go. It's all printed out there. You can see some real funky stuff going on before the between the 4K and 8K bands. It's probably where we're seeing some of that noise. So let's let's have a listen to how noise reduction works. Okay, that's pretty perfect. Wow. I'm just going to open preview. Have a look. Significantly better there. Wow. Hello. Okay, now we've still got an issue with the noise there. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, reduce it by a higher dB so it should get rid of more noise. And it is starting to pull out frequencies there. Probably a few too many I can see in spectral. So. Tone that down a bit. Uh, noise reduction up from 50% maybe to 70%. Ooh, nice. Now you see a lot of the background noise is disappearing around 70, 73%. And if we want, if we really know that we've got a problem here, we can draw on the, the frequencies here and say, okay, I want, to, I want to reduce those frequencies even more. Let's try that. Just those specific frequencies we're working on now. Or bring them in, as you can see there. We've got some noise there. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm going to bring this, it's kind of like an EQ graph for noise reduction. And again here, I can see a little spike here that I'm going to work on. And then we're going to play it back again. Ooh, that's pretty good. Let's go up as far as 76% noise reduction. Uh, and again, let's have a listen to how that's affecting the overall audio. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mike, to you too. Uh, I can't believe it's 2018 already. 
So definitely got rid of some of the noise. I'm going to close that now and not apply. Uh, one thing you'll notice because of the compressor, Isabella sounds very crunchy. Let's bring that back to normal. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mike, to you too. So again, I'm going to go over this and run a different effect. It's the sound remover. Again, similar to noise reduction, but works in a different way. First of all, learn the sound model uh, of the noise we want to eliminate. Double click everything and we'll go to... Um, Let's have a look at some of these presets here. Uh, I'd say uh, high noise complexity. Let's go with that one. Let's see what that does. So it's working away. And uh, that's looking pretty clean. Look at the comparison of the uh, spectral frequency display on this one and this one. As you can see, nice and clean. So this should be really good. Let's turn it right up. Wow, no noise. And then Isabella speaks. <laughs> Happy New Year, like to you too. Although she sounds a bit like a monster. Enhance for speech can sometimes help with that. <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mike, to you too. Uh, I can't believe it's 2018 already. That is sounding really, really good. I'm going to apply that. So now you'll notice if we're looking at the spectral frequency display, this display here, everywhere that's black means there's no noise whatsoever. And look at how cool that looks now, just using the sound remover. I'm just going to normalize this because I can see it's peaking a bit. The best thing about working in 32-bit is you never really distort, so that's good now. We've got a good quality Skype call there now with that top quality Skype ringtone. Hello. And really good quality sounds on Isabella. Yeah, definitely. Good 18 already. <laughs> And there's a little <gasps> from her there. Uh, so what I can then do to add the finesse to it is I can go to Amplitude and Compression. This is a brand new feature in Adobe Audition CC 2018, by the way. Dynamics, uh, which has been ported over essentially from Premiere Pro, can set up an auto gate or a downward expander, my personal favorite. Uh, and again, to calculate uh, where I want to set this up, I need the Amplitude Statistics window here. I need to scan the selection and have a look at the... Um, Average RMS amplitude, which is interesting, it's at infinity. <laughs> Something's not right there. Scan again. Scan, scan, scan. Uh, very, very strange readings on that. But anyway, I'll show you how the downward expander works. Uh, so we'll go into dynamics. And you see when it's red, that means no audio is getting through at all. And then when we start to get to the audio here, you can see it's just popping up and letting the audio through. Depending how harshly I set this will depend how much audio it actually lets through. Hello. See, boom, straight down again, which is perfect. What we want. <laughs> now you see that? That sound we could actually try and get rid of. Let's just take this up a little bit. A bit more. Until we've nearly eliminated that sound. A bit more. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mike, to you too. Uh, I can't believe it's 2018 already. Really, really good downward expansion there. Apply that, boom, we have nicely cleaned up that Skype call. Uh, sounding really good, no noise now. If I normalize here, you should find, yeah, normalize as many times as I want. Oh, look at that, more times you normalize it. That's weird, that's freaky, that. I, I had to normalize about four times to actually get that to appear. Um, but of course, the other way you can do it is with the Pro Podcast presets. And again, this is all done on automation. Uh, solo this. And let's make sure that the adaptive noise reduction is indeed kicking in. Uh, so let's just check that we've got this all set up correctly. So you can hear a little bit of noise now. And then it starts to kick in and you hear there's hardly any hiss in the background at all with the adaptive noise reduction, just as about Hello. speaking. Absolutely whisper silent. Adaptive noise reduction in action there. Once it's heard some of the audio getting through, <laughs> it starts to process it perfectly and re remove any hiss or anything that it thinks you wouldn't need. Adaptive noise reduction. Absolute genius, uh, and you can get that uh, included uh, with this wonderful multi-track template. Uh, the Pro Podcast presets available right now at mrc.fm ppp. Go ahead and get them for your podcast and make your workflow super simple. 
Thank you so much for watching today. And thank goodness we don't have to deal with those cassette tapes anymore. <laughs> that's the least of our worries now. Uh, Joanna in and, and Nashville and others watching, I hope that's helped you uh, to improve your podcast a little bit. And remember, I'm always looking for good quality audio questions to feature on the show. You can get them in via the community at community.musicradiocreative.com or call our voicemail hotline. It's plus one if you're outside the US, 415 800 1055. 